All right, this video is for chapter 12, day number three for geometry. This is about inscribed angles, okay? Inscribed angles are angles with its vertex on the circle, okay, with two sides that are chords. So we talked about chords yesterday. So inscribed angles, the vertex is on the edge. Each side of the angle is a chord. It has endpoints on the circle. Okay. The intercepted arc is the arc that lies between the endpoints of the angle. So I'll make that green right here. This is called the inscribed or intercepted arc. Okay. The measure of the inscribed angle okay, is equal to half the arc. Okay. So the, the measure of angle ABC okay, is equal to one half times the measure of the arc AC. So let me give you an example. If this is 100 degrees out here, this is 50 degrees in here. Okay, I don't know why I did a squared. Okay, 50, if this is 100 degrees out here, this is a 50 degrees in here. Okay, so the angle on the inside is half the arc. Okay, if you have an inscribed angle, okay, that's intercepting a diameter. Okay, then it is a right angle. Okay, so what that means is that if here's my inscribed angle, but my endpoints are all the way across the diameter, okay, well that means that this entire thing is 180. If it's 180 on the outside, it's 90 on the inside. Okay, so in this picture, angle BAC is a 90 degree angle. So if you cut off a diameter, that's going to be 90, okay, half of 180. Okay, if the arcs overlap, they're going to end up being congruent. So if, if two inscribed angles intercept the same arc, then the angles are congruent. Okay, so if you notice, this inscribed angle cuts off this green arc. Okay, well, this inscribed angle cuts off the same green arc. So if this is 40... Okay, then each of these have to be 20, 20, and 20. Okay, and long story short, they have to be equal. So angle ABD would have to be the same as the measure of angle ACD. Okay, um, that's kind of the, the information that you need to go right into the examples. Okay, so let's do that. So if we know that we have 62 on the outside, we're going to cut that in half. Okay, the angle on the inside is half of the angle on the outside, so this is 31 degrees. Okay, cut it in half. If we know the angle on the inside, and they're asking for the arc, like this one, okay, well, the arc is just 113 times 2, so this is going to be 226. Okay, um, P, Q, R, okay, this is that one. If you're looking at P, the measure of angle PQR, first thing I would do is just trace that. If you look at those endpoints, that's the endpoints are a diameter. That means the arc that we cut off is 180, and we're going to cut that in half. This is a 90 degree, 90. Okay, if you want BC, okay, they want this arc right here, okay, then you're going to take the arc we know that this green arc plus this red arc would have to be 180 in total, okay? So I do have enough information to figure this out, okay? This angle is 47. I need to double that. If you're going inside to outside, double that 47, okay? And you end up with 94, okay? Well, 94 and this green arc have to make 180. So the measure of angle or arc BC it's just 180 minus 94. Okay? And what that is, is 86 degrees. Okay, let me pause the video real quick. All right, sorry about that. So number five, okay, JKL is what they're asking for. So they're asking for JKL. Well, that's this arc. Oops, my mistake. Okay, or angle JKL, sorry. Angle JKL is this angle right here, which cuts off this 
arc. So if I knew what that arc was, I could divide it by two. So that's what I need to do. I got to figure out this so I can go and cut it in half. The way I'm going to cut it in half is by adding these together. Okay, 53 and 65 together, those make 118. Hey, if that part is 118, then the red part is 360 minus 118. Okay, um, so that should be equal to 242. So that's this piece. If 240, and then 242 divided by 2 is going to give me my answer, 121. So this one is 121 degrees. Okay, moving on, number six. Um, we have two arcs that are going to be, or two angles that are going to intercept the same arc. So what's happening for this one? Okay, the first one I would look at is RST. I'm going to go ahead and trace that. Okay, RST is right there, okay, cutting off this arc. So I don't know the arc, so I don't know the angle that uh, goes with it. Okay, I don't have 180 for this one because you, you can see the center point B is not, but there's no line going through that. So I can't use 180 for anything for this. Okay, um, If you look at RUT, we're just looking for that same arc. If we can get this arc, okay, we can divide it by two and figure out those two angles. So we should get the same answer for E for both of them. Okay, So the first thing we would want is what do we have so far? 64, 139. And 75, I'm going to add those together. 64 plus 139 plus 75. Okay, that's giving me 278. So that entire black arc total is 278. That makes the piece that I'm interested in 360 minus 278. So if you do that, you end up with 82. So this arc is 82, and I can divide that by 2 to get these angles. This is 82 divided by 2. Okay, and this is 82 divided by 2. So they're both 41. Okay, both of them are 41. 41 degrees each. Okay. Uh, last one's on the front, number 7 and 8. So with those, um, this one says solve for x. So we have inscribed angles, but now we have algebra involved. So I want to solve for x. x is involving this angle right here. Okay, that's where this 8x minus 9 is pointing to. So I know that 8x minus 9, okay, it doesn't equal 158. Okay, what it equals is half of 158. Okay, this angle is twice as big. So I need to cut that in half, okay, to see what 8x minus 9 is equal to. So that's 8x minus 9 equal to half of 158, which is 79. Okay, add 9 to both sides, 8x equals 88, divide by 8, x equals 11. This one is not asking us to plug it in for anything else. Okay, same thing with number 8. So um, what we have out here is the arc. Okay, they want us to solve for x on that arc. Okay, it's being cut off by this blue inscribed angle. So that 67 is equal to half of that red arc. So half of 4x plus 58. Okay, make sure that you distribute the one half. So we have 2x plus 29 right here. Okay, subtract 29 for both sides. 38 is equal to 2x. Divide by 2. Uh, 19 is equal to x. Doesn't want us to plug it back in for anything. Okay, let's go to the next page. Uh, number 9, solving for x, same idea. Um, so 13x minus 1 is this angle. Well, that's cutting off an entire semicircle, which is 180. Okay, so what I know is that if I cut that 180 in half, that this is a 90 degree angle. So this time I'm going to set 13x minus 1 equal to 90 right away, okay? Which means 13x equals 91, which means x equals 7. Again, I'm not plugging it back in. I'm just solving. Number 10, okay, solving for x. Well, where is x? x is this arc or this inscribed angle right here, okay? Right there is what we're solving for, okay? It's half of some uh, angle measure, okay, 
Um, so it's half of this arc measure. I don't know that arc measure, so can I figure it out? If the answer is yes, you can. So what we have, if I can find that green, I can cut that green in half and set it equal to 7x plus 6. What I know is that this arc has to be 114 times 2, which is 228. Okay, so if I add these two pieces together, the 228 and the 78, okay, 228 plus 78, um, what that's going to give me is 306. So this entire thing is 306, which means that this piece, the green piece, has to be 54. Okay, so what I know, back to what I need, okay, what I, what I know is that this 7x plus 6, I'm solving for x, it's not equal to 54, but it's e it is equal to half of that 54, okay, half of the angle on the outside. So 7x plus 6 equals 27, which means 7x equals 21, which means x equals 3. Okay, number 11, solve for x. Same type of problem. Okay, I got to figure out, so 7x minus 10 is this inscribed angle. So that means if I know what this arc is, then I can cut it in half and set it equal to 7x minus 10. Okay, so these two combined, 92 and 162, uh, are going to give me 254. So the black arc is 254, okay, which means that this green arc has to be 106. Okay, those have to make 360. We're going to cut that in half. Um, so we have 7x minus 10 equal to... Um, we're going to take half of that green arc, which was 54, or yeah, 106. Half of it uh, is going to be 53. So um, 7x minus 10 is equal to 53, which means 7x equals 63, which means x equals 9. Okay, again, the directions haven't changed. Just find x. So same type of problem again, number 20 or number 12. We are looking for this arc, okay? Well, what I know is that if this is 67 on the inside, it's 67 times 2 on the outside, and that's 134, okay? Uh, so what we have, uh, we can add these two together, 134 and 120, and get uh, 254. Okay, which means that this blue arc has to be 106 degrees. Okay, so 5x plus 21 is going to be set this time equal to 106. Okay, we're going to subtract 21, giving us 5x equals 85, divide by 5, uh, and that gives us uh, 17, x equals 17. All right, to continue on, there's one more piece of information you definitely need for the worksheet, and that's if there's these quadrilaterals on the inside. So if there's a quadrilaterals on the inside and there's opposite angles, okay, what you can know right away is that those opposite angles are going to be supplementary, meaning 180. So opposite angles in a quadrilateral are going to be supplementary. So I know that if this is 93, I need to find P, R, and S. I can get S right away by subtracting from... 180. So that's going to be 87. So that's going to be my answer for S. Okay. Uh, then P and R, we can look at a little bit differently. R is not so bad. Okay. R cuts off this arc right here, which is 90 plus 126. Okay. So if it's 90 uh, and 126 together, then that adds to 216. That's what that red arc is. So that's going to cut in half. And that will give us what R is. R will be 108, half of 216. And if R is 108, then P has to be the number that makes 180 with it. So 72, 108 minus, 180 minus 108. Okay, same thing with example B. Uh, we know that this 133 has to equal this 62 minus 5x. So that's what we're going to... Uh, they don't, sorry, they don't equal each other, but they, we can add them together and set them equal to 180. Okay, 
So that's what we'll do. That's exactly what we'll do for this one. Okay, so the 62 and the 133, those are going to make 195. So we have like a negative 5x and 195. Okay, when I subtract 90, 195 over, I get negative 15. And a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So that's going to be x equals 3. So if you plug 3 back into that, um, you should see that 133 and whatever you get should make 180. Okay. All right, we have three left. 14 is asking you to find the measure of STU, the angle STU, okay, which we know is half of this arc SU. Okay, so we know that the arc is 12x minus 50. They told us that. And then we know the inside is this 5x minus 16. This is right here. Okay, so they're not equal to each other again, but what they uh, one the red one is twice as big as the blue one. So you could either take half of the red one or double the blue one. Okay, I like to double the blue one sometimes, double the inside angle, because when you double stuff, you're less likely to end up with decimals. Uh, but 2 times 5x minus 16, that's going to equal 12x minus 50. Don't forget to distribute Okay, this has to get, the uh, both numbers have to get doubled. So 10x minus 32 equals 12x minus 50. I'm going to subtract the 10x over and get 2x on this side. I'm going to add 50 to both sides and get 18 on this side. Um, so x is equal to 9. Okay, and that helps me answer the question. STU uh, is equal to 5 times 9 minus 16, which is uh, 29 degrees. Okay, number 15. Uh, a, we're going to find the measure of arc AD. That's this one right there. So that's what we're going to look for and hopefully don't have much trouble uh, finding. All right, so what we know is ABD, I'll make that one the blue one, is this angle right here. Okay. And ACD, I'll make the red one. Okay, and what we know is they both cut off that same green arc. They're both cutting off this piece right here. Okay, so they're going to be equal to each other this time. ABD and ACD have to be equal to each other. So I'm just going to set those two things equal to one another. Okay, and then we're going to solve from there. I'm going to move the, the 6x over. 13 minus 6 is 7. Add 9 to both sides. I have 35 equal to 7x, which means divide by 7, x equals 5. Okay, now I can use that to get that uh, arc AD. Okay, um, so the way that we're going to do that is figure out what one of these angles are. So maybe we can plug the 5 into this one. That's 30 plus 26. That means that this is a 56 degree angle. Okay, hopefully you see the exact same thing if you plug it into the red one. Okay, so that's, it's going to be 56, but times 2, since we're looking at an um, inscribed angle. We have to double to get to the outside, so this is going to be 112 degrees. Okay, last one. So the last one here, KJL and KLJ are given. Okay, we want to find KL. So we want to figure out how many degrees KL is. Um, they gave us KJL and they gave us KLJ. So those are the two pieces that they had given us. Um, so that would be this piece. So KJL, okay, that's the 3x plus 2. All right, and then we know KLJ. So that's this angle, okay, um, which is 7x minus 32. So we kind of uh, are just going to go and look at how many degrees that should be. So if we look at it, the blue one and the red one are going to be adding up to that 180. So since that's true, okay, since these two pieces, the red and the blue, are cutting off two individual pieces, like this one and the green one, 
oops, this one and the green one, those two are adding to 180. So that means I could add the 3x plus 2 and the 7x minus 32 equal to half of 180. Okay, so the red plus the blue, okay, are going to add to, are they're cutting off arcs that add to 180. So the red plus the blue is going to add to 90 this time. This is 10x uh, minus 30 equal to 90. That's 10x equals 120, which is x equals 12. Okay, we're going to use that to find KL. Well, KL, okay, that's the green arc. Okay, that's 2 times the blue angle. Okay, the blue angle is 3 times 12 plus 2. Okay, so that's going to be 36, 38 times 2 which is 76. Okay, and that's the video for day two. Now you can try that assignment. Thanks for watching.